Welcome back to my channel please like share and subscribe channel. It's always good when a vehicle's price holds from one model year to the next. It's even better when that unchanged price buys you a vehicle with much needed improvements and new features. Take the 2024 Subaru Saltra, for example. The all-electric SUV is now capable of drastically faster charging speeds while also introducing a very limited hands-free driving mode at a price starting just above $46,000 a just $120 more than last year's Saltra. Subaru's iSight driver assist system goes hands-free at least for use at speeds up to 25 miles per hour. With the system active and the Saltra moving slower than 25 miles per hour, it'll stay in its lane and follow stop and go traffic without driver inputs. It will also have the capability to change lanes automatically, with the driver commanding the movement using the turn signal stock. This driver assistance suite is standard across all trim levels of premium, limited, and touring and includes front cross traffic alert. Dynamic radar cruise control, rear camera detection, and uh, another newly added feature, driver focus. This is a distraction mitigation system that was introduced on the 2019 Forester and recognizes when a driver is fatigued or isn't paying attention to the road ahead. A much needed advancement on the Saltra is its charging system and the 2024 model sees a huge reduction in the time it takes charge on DC fast chargers. Going from 10% to 80% state of charge used to take nearly an hour, but it's now able to do that in as little as 35 minutes without reducing the size of the battery. It's also doing this without changing the peak DC fast charge rate of 100 kW. We've asked Subaru what changes were made to allow the Saltra to improve that much, as battery conditioning alone shouldn't be enough. Turns out that it's software changes and improved battery heating capacity that have allowed a faster charging time. While the peak rate of 100 kW is unchanged, the 2024 Saltra can hold that rate for much longer during its DC fast charge session. Even better. The improved conditioning is also good news for those in very cold and very hot climates, as Subaru states, the 2024 Saltra can charge up to 80 minutes faster in certain conditions. Subaru also states that the battery capacity is enough for a usable daily range, and we've also asked them what that means. From the 2023 Saltra and its 72.8 kWh battery pack, the premium trim gets around 228 miles of range on a full charge while the limited and touring gets around 222 miles due to bigger tires. From what we see, the 215 horsepower, 249 pounds to feet of torque dual motor AWD returns for 2024 and should mean that range will remain the same. Again. Subaru came back to us with answers on this and the premium trim does lose one mile of range while the limited and touring remain at 222 miles. That battery management software update also included a revision to the range estimation, and it now provides a more accurate mileage than it did before these changes. The display also more accurately shows the charge time remaining to reach 80% and 100% so owners will know how long they must wait to reach either state of charge. That's not the only thing that remains the same on the Saltro from 2023. You get 8.3 inches of ground clearance, 18 inch wheels on the premium or 20 inches on the limited or touring an 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard or can be upgraded to the 12.3-inch touchscreen system, and X mode with grip control and drive mode selection are all still standard on the 2024 model. That may also explain why the 2024 Salter remains at a starting MSRP of $46,340 and premium trim.
just $120 more than before real prices for the mid-level limited and range topping touring increase by the same amount, $120. While there are major changes to EyeSight and the charging system, the majority of Subaru's all-electric SUV remains largely the same. However, those two changes are without a doubt vital and welcome improvements over the 2023 version. Now, if we could just convince Subaru to increase the battery capacity and get its range more in line with other all-electric vehicles, that would make this a real winner for the Adventurers brand. Thanks for watching.